Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Mountain Blade to a Battle Lord. Today, we are diving in and we are taking a look at the Mount and Reborn Warcraft mod. This is a mod that takes the world of Calradia and brings it into Azeroth. It is a really, really cool mod, currently a work in progress, of course, and it recently received an update, adding in some Orc models, which let me tell you look spectacular, added in some units for the trolls, as well as some units for the elves as well. So the mod is chugging along quite nicely. However, the modder is in desperate need of help. At the moment, the team is extremely small. So if you do have any skills in 3D modeling, coding, and anything else you think you can use to help them, I'll leave a link to their Discord down below in the description as well as the mod link. So what we'll do is we'll dive into the game. You can already see some of the amazing custom armor I've got currently in my save. I think this is some of the Death Knight armor that is currently in. And obviously, there is a completely fully working custom campaign map as well and they also have some very very epic um they have some really really epic uh, screenshots as well in the background for the load screens now as well there's a handful of these that again really just take you out of playing battle lord and put you into playing in the world of azeroth and as you can see the custom campaign map for those of you, you guys who have not seen it is currently in obviously we've just got one of the uh, the eastern islands at the moment uh, but who knows what will happen in the future maybe they'll add in more maybe they will decide just to go ahead and stick along with this but as you can see the campaign map is extremely detailed looks amazing really really awesome uh, and it's only gonna get better and better as well the more the mod gets developed you know when they do find the time to go in and change like the actual look of these settlements to fit more of the uh, world of warcraft theme and like change what villages and stuff look like it's going to be really, really dope indeed. I cannot wait for that. But so far, I think as a base la layer, this campaign map is spectacular. I mean, it looks really good from a bird's eye view, that is for sure. And you can get down just like this. And yeah, it just looks amazing. It really, really does. So at the moment, um, as I said, they have recently added in some more orcs. And if I TP over here really quickly and we go in, you'll be able to see uh, here are the orc models. I think they look amazing. We'll dive in and take a look at these guys actually in battle. But it's really impressive what they've done. Done. and what this is at the moment is it's currently a body armor so if i go over to the uh, my inventory i've actually got some of my body armor here i can show you guys and we go to body armor right here how they've done it because right now you can't change the skeleton in battle Lord. they don't have the mod tools to do that quite yet so you can't create orc skeletons that will be different from a human etc all they have is just a human skeleton so what models have had to do right now is they've gone ahead and added in this armor that is obviously uh, you know a work work in like build so you basically do that and you like build up an orc model from the ground up obviously for the ai that's fine because the ai itself only has one armor you can't change it and they'll keep you know what armor they're wearing at the beginning but if you want to be a player as an orc as a player you'll have to obviously build it and you can do that from the cheat menu if you want to you can just go in and uh, you know find all the orc armors and stuff like that and build it but yeah it looks really really cool uh yeah it looks absolutely awesome you can see it like that i mean that looks dope as hell you can also see some of the custom armor and weapons that are currently making their way in the game we have an elven sword right there we also have a ranger's bow which you guys can kind of see we'll see it in battle uh, i'm sure momentarily and also an elven shield and there's a ton of different armors as well if we kind of put on some oh, you guys already seen that one but we also have like a skeleton body right there uh, we have some elven armor as well there is an elven faction in the game as well um well, obviously there's an elven faction in the game but as in there is uh there is now a uh, a couple elven units as well uh, some really cool shoulder pads as well even though the york one comes with it like so uh, and these are recruitable as well from basically any uh, any orc province out here. Uh, you, you can go ahead and recruit these. Obviously, as I said as well, we do also have a couple new troll units as well. If I go into here, we should be able to find them. Oh, no, there's all still orcs down here. I thought, I believe trolls did get added, but maybe, maybe I'm a little mistaken. Um, we obviously want to get killed there as well. Um, chosen? Yeah, no, no trolls have been added, uh, at least from what I can, I can see. Maybe if I go to the encyclopedia, because I'll show off the elves here as well. Um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. Maybe, uh, maybe they are being planned on being added because I read something about them being close to being added, but maybe they're in, in some format 
or another. And we also have a couple elven units as well, which again are not showing up. Okay, so I think it's more so that the troll roster has been fleshed out and now it's just the time for them to actually add in the units for them uh, as this obviously does very much look like a, um, a a troll roster. So I think that's going to be the case is that it's just currently obviously a work in progress and now they've kind of got their plan to go forward, which makes a lot of sense. We obviously also have the, uh, the elven units that have recently been added. So these are the new elven units. We have uh, these guys right here with their cool armor as well as the super high level spell breakers as well and a few of these lower tier ones but again still need assets but they are getting there slowly but surely uh then we obviously also have the men of stormwind and they have a very very nice roster in the game definitely a playable one i think that's obviously the most playable uh roster as we speak it is definitely stormwind uh, if you go to these peasants you can see they start off pretty low tier and they break out into men of westfold you have the spearmen you have the swordsmen right here as you continue to go down the stormwind guard you can see some of their really awesome shields there as well uh, as some of the cavalry uh, some stormwind crossbowmen set up right here you also have some marksmen um, as well. So the Stormwind roster is definitely the, the most fleshed out. And again, you can find all of these if you want to go to the encyclopedia, see exactly what units are there, and just go to Azerothian, and then you can find them. There is also, so obviously, the York Grunt as well, which is the first Orc unit. But now they've got kind of this set up, they'll be able to really start pumping out the units. Uh, and then you also have the uh, special Noble Troop line as well. Yeah, you actually have some very, very elite cavalry uh, again, which looks really good indeed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be them units. So let's dive into a battle really quickly so you guys can actually see the orcs in battle. And these are some of the skeletons as well. Obviously, uh, the undead will be a, a pretty strong foe in the game. And I mean, just look at that. It looks so good. I love what they've done uh, with these orc models. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, stuff and obviously we have a pretty big shield right there. We also have a bow as well so we can start hammering off Like obviously the bow is a bit big for us, but we can definitely still use it and you guys can also see as well My orc grunts moving forward So obviously now that they've got these orc bodies in they can really start to look at you know adding in some uh, Real nice details some more armor weapons and other crazy stuff like that and obviously this mod is very important to actually have uh, you know, monsters, orcs, and all that stuff in, like Turin Warriors and stuff. Like, all that stuff definitely is a lot more possible now, which is really cool to be able to see that. Hopefully, my uh, my Orc Warriors are going to do okay. It does not look like they're doing okay. And even with this glorious sword, I think we're going to be struggling a little bit. There's only so many of these guys I can take down as my Orcs flee the cowards. <laughs> okay, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'll just let these skeletons kill me. Probably could, uh, probably could fight to the death, but if they just kill me, then we can jump back into the campaign map. Oh my god, I've got some, I guess it's orc armor, which is really, really tanky there. Maybe I just come playing on a low difficulty in this campaign, probably. Um, but yeah, so obviously you have that as well, if we just leave really quickly. You guys can see all of this. There are a handful of really cool custom maps as well, scattered throughout the game. Uh, I think we go to Goldshire as well, head into it. Uh, is actually a completely uh, custom uh, map as well. So that's obviously what they're really focusing on doing as well, is adding in these really, really cool settlements. No, Goldshire isn't. Okay, maybe I'm mistaken, uh, but they definitely do have some in. I thought Goldshire was in. But what I'll do is I'll put the pictures up on your screen right now so you guys can see them for yourselves. And they are in-game somewhere. I'm just not 100% sure exactly what settlements uh, that you do find yourself in. Um, but yeah, still really, really cool stuff. Um, and I can't wait again to see this mod just get more and more developed because honestly, the possibilities are endless. Now that we've got orcs, you know, non-human characters in a game, uh, they look really good. So I can't wait to see what they'll do in the future. Definitely go check out this mod again. As I said, I'll leave links to it down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.